three different needles, IVs, and we couldn't get it into the third one. We called my nurse, my doctor, a company, the whole thing. So, oh, wow. A lot has happened. Okay, not a lot, but a lot. Anyway, so it is Tuesday evening. It's still daylight, as you can see behind me. I'll use, fix the screen if I can. If it made me dark, it'll get brightened up soon. So, um, I got an IV started Monday, so yesterday, and we did three pokes. Um, man, it's now it's too bright. Uh, let me see if I can get it bright again. Okay, okay, so we did three pokes. Um, we did one here, which um, I took out the uh, um, the, the band aid, and then we did here. And then we went and did, wow, that bruise is bad. I didn't realize it. And then we did, what do we do? Oh, we did my hand again, but on the other hand, right? I don't know why I'm losing my mind. Like, what did we do? Yeah, so we, as we did my hand here, I just don't have any bruises. I don't have any, like, inc incision hole. But we ended up doing three different incisions, incisions, you, could, you know, spots, um, Three different needles, IVs, and we couldn't get it into the third one. We called my nurse, my doctor, a company, the whole thing. And it all was working out fine. The The line was so amazing that I kept bleeding through the line. I had to keep flushing it a lot more than normal. Um, but then, because it, it was my hand, she goes, I know you're not going to like it here. I'm like, I don't want it here, but like my veins are kind of shot. She goes, "Just at least we can just get your infusion done today, and then we can kind of just play with it by year so um last night while infusing infusing um I felt like really wet I guess and I looked and there was blood coming down my arm um I cleaned it up and then it bled again when someone was like your hand is bleeding and it was like kind of like in a crease so I have that recorded from last night uh I called my nurse, told her the situation, told her that I was going to keep the line in and then, and it's just, just to finish it, like I told her that where it was coming, it was kind of coming out, but then towards my fingers, not towards the actual like incision site and that I was just going to wait it out and let me it just infuse for the whole night. She was fine with that. So we're going to have to have someone come again Thursday or me go to them. So last night was a disaster with that not bad but you know and then I was sleeping and the IV's done or not the IV the infusion's done and everything's good and I then am sleeping and I feel wet I get up and I'm like finding things in my bed that are like chunky and wet as if I threw up my bed and don't remember but I didn't it was like the weirdest thing it wasn't a lot it was like little pieces of I don't know I went to bed I don't know if that was a dream because I re-woke up again from something wet and my bed had blood everywhere. It was by my feet. It was by my chest. It was where my hand was. It was on my uh, pillow. That was an imaginary. Um, I'm cleaning my bed sheets right now. My IV was uh, like still in my arm and it was just, it was bleeding out. Um, and yes, I told my nurse I was going to pull it anyway, but I just fell asleep so this is gonna pull it this morning I assume but I ended up pulling it at like 2 a.m. um and now I'm cleaning my sheets and I am hanging out at home uh and that's really about it I've been home I've been cleaning I've been reorganizing my my uh my foundations like paperwork and packaging stuff um I sent out all the invitations but now we have to still find another hundred people at least to invite so we get enough people to say like like an RSVP, you know. Um, but here are some clips from last night in order. Hopefully, it makes a little sense. Let's go over under for a second. Want to raise up here? Oh, oh go. God. sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay. Oh man. 
Is it feeling okay? No, it's fine. Okay. It's been a crazy night. So the positive is that I was donated fifty dollars from a random person. <laughs> Um, I mean, I know the person, but he's still random because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, but, so, I don't think I guys, I don't think I told you guys. Man, my fingers look really long. Wow. I think it's like almost done. I know this is really bad lighting. Um, I don't want to wake up my dad and I still want to cook some food. But it's like... It's, I don't know, it's like this. Um, I started this at like, I don't even know what time I started this at. I started this at like 7 o'clock, and I think it's like 10. Oh, so I have many hours to go. So awkwardly, um, I'm pulling my line because, well... It's bleeding. Help meaning. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh sh. Okay. Alright, it didn't get on my bed. It's. I didn't do it very well. Doing this, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's because I'm drinking. I'm an adult. I can drink. And yes, about 99.9% .9 of the time, I just. Oh, Okay, hold on. Um, and well, it seemed like it was just gushing out, but it was stable. No, it's on my brand new clean white blanket that I cleaned recently. Um, so my also my camera is on the other side, so I keep thinking my camera is this way, like the camera, but it's that way. So if this is what it looks like. Doesn't look as bad as it really actually is. Um, this is what I just cleaned off of it. It's, yeah, there's my bed. Yeah. It's freezing. Um, my dad got home, and as soon as I got home, my dogs were, like, excited, you know, because someone's home, and it, like, hit me, like, you know what? It was decently warm today. Let's go over into the park before, like, the sun goes down. But my behind doesn't think that it's, like, 30 minutes till sundown, which means it's cold out and not warm there's no sun <laughs> like actual like i mean there's sun you know sundown but the sun isn't out out anyway i just got to the park about i don't know 10 minutes ago i'm sitting in a car it is frigid out there um and i have my heat on and whew, it's cold so yeah anyway last night um as you guys seen that's how my night went um and uh yeah it was whatever <laughs> uh so i oh i have to call my my nurse that's something i have to do so i'm going to be probably meeting my nurse on thursday but i have a doctor's so i have a doctor's appointment with the guy who helped invent the tilt table test um whom i seen before and i did a vlog that um so i'm supposed to be seeing him supposed to be seeing him tomorrow tomorrow Say Tuesday, Wednesday. I think tomorrow's... I think today's Wednesday. I'm losing track. Oh my god, Freckles has not left the gate, like the opening of the gate, because she knows I left. <laughs> she won't leave. Hey guys, so there's Freckles right there. And there's Gizmo. Gizmo will go around and do his thing, but Freckles typically is right where she is right now. Um, or she'll just kind of walk back and forth. She's like, where's my mama? It's so weird. She's a runner at my home or for leaf. No matter where we are, if she's not on a leash, she is a runner. That's the one thing about her. But, like, I don't understand why when I had a dog park, she cannot leave and run around. Like, I mean, this is acres worth, and she just kind of sits there. All right, Freckles. She's waiting for me. <laughs> oh, my poor girl. But as soon as I... Oh, look at... See? She's already about to have fun with some other dog. 
forgetting about me because she sees me go, oh crap, I'm just walking up. No. Okay. No. Yep, my door. Okay. Okay. Alright, come on guys. Look at them. Now they're both able to just run and be free and have fun. Alright, I'm leaving guys. Bye! <laughs> So, um, I didn't end the vlog yesterday, so I got home from the dog park and I was cleaning and removing my carpet in my living room for whatever reason and it was a lot of work, so much work that my heart rate was just crazy. Um, I was at a 70 80 for most of the day and then within minutes of me trying to move carpet which is very simple my heart rate went to about 134 but I was very shaky and by the time I got my cell phone to like start recording I think I got for an image 124 my heart's not doing very well and 910 it's not obviously the time so just moments after I was recording um, that clip, I collapsed and um, I hit my, I think it was like my ear area, but my head um, on the TV and that TV is the one that's been breaking that's currently on the floor um, and I hit my head on it. Um, my dad was just happened to be like going down the stairs and see me. Um, he came down, heard like a crash, that was me, um, lifted me off the floor, walked me to this couch, and I rested and didn't vlog until right now. I did not fully faint, I didn't lose consciousness, but I did collapse, I'm assuming due to a high heart rate, and maybe my blood pressure did change, but um, I did see it was at 134, um, but by the time I went finding my camera, and able to move around I uh, my blood my heart rate dropped to 124 um, fairly quickly uh, from the 134 it might have been even 137 and uh, like I said I recorded it and then that's all I really remember um, and then I you know I didn't sleep the whole night it was early in the night um, I just kind of relaxed I ate uh, my dad kind of tended to me by bringing me tea, which also caused my heart to race. So I'm not sure if it was caffeine in there or what. Um, and that was the end of my night. So I didn't really do anything. I, you know, just relaxed. So my apologies for not really doing much yesterday. Um, I meet my nurse. So found out that yesterday was not Wednesday and today's Thursday. Today's Wednesday and tomorrow's Thursday. So I was d definitely not correct with the day. Um, but today is my last day before I go back to work. I think I might have told you guys that my hours were cut. Well, I got a message last night. Um, or actually, not a message. I spoke to my boss and she gave me back my hours. So because it's already the end of the week, I can't fulfill my normal hours. So I'll have to start it next week. But um, today's my last day, so I'm going to make homemade pizza. I've been craving it, doing a lot of paperwork still, and um, that's really about it. I don't plan on doing anything. Oh, and then dropping off some packages at the post office, and that's it. So with that, um, good morning, uh, and I will see you guys next time.